so welcome back to the channel guys it is uh, Sunday morning kind of 7 30 ish I guess you could say um, so currently I'm at uh, Espresso Exotics which is a little uh, I guess you could say it's like a cars and coffee here in uh, Boca Park located in uh, Las Vegas so I'm um, gonna take you guys kind of with me thank you for joining me and uh, kind of show you guys what kind of cars are here and kind of see what kind of shows up so and I parked the GTO all the way over here, so let's take a look at that thing. Still looking the same, still looking dirty, but uh, yeah, let's go see kind of what cars are here and then what kind of shows up. So it's kind of early, but I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of cars, but first one in a little bit, and a little kind of rundown on this event, so it's... Um, every second Sunday of each month, and now it hasn't happened for, what, two, three months since this whole situation started, but, uh, it's good to see it back, so, let's check it out. So here there's these, uh, these two Vipers are always here, I'm sure they, these are the older guys here sitting at the table, but, um, so you got like an older, kind of, I'm, I don't, I think this is a ACR, I'm not sure, but, and then right next to it you have, um, the Viper TA, which is like the, the track attack, I think it is. So let me show you guys. And then right next to that, it's one of the first C8 Corvettes that I've seen. Uh, it's been like a couple months since they've been out, but I seriously haven't seen one. This thing is pretty good looking, so... Then kind of moving on, there's three GT350s, and I don't know much about these things, but um, I know they're made for like the tracks, and this middle one's got a massive supercharger on it. Not sure you can see, but these things look insane. Alright, let's go check some other cars, because there's this Honda S2000 that was boosted that just came. And then there's this little buggy that just pulled up too. There's an Audi, Audi R8 right here. Um, I think this is the V8 version, because it doesn't have the V10 badge on it, but... Um, yeah, so V8 version, Audi, alright, I'm not sure, all I know is that the, the V10s make a lot louder noise, I'm not too sure about the, the V8s, but, um, I had, like, considering this model and the, the newer model V8, or the R8s, um, I'd probably take this one, but this thing's pretty nice looking. There's a Super Snake GT500 next to it. That thing's really nice. And then here's this uh, boosted S2000 I was talking about. thing has got some meat on it and some carbon seats and this wide body is insane and then just casually just sitting here there's a Diablo and I think this is probably like the second Diablo I've ever seen in my life but this thing's really nice Uh, 
always kind of enjoyed how like wide these cars looked and the rear and the wing and everything it kind of always flows super nice and it's just yeah. a car you don't see often then over here there's like a drift e36 vert with some crazy kind of livery I'm sure this is I'm not sure I'm not gonna see anything but uh, maybe like a first car for this guy kind of beginning out he's got kind of his own little flare going so kind of shows character it's cool And then next to it, there is a boosted 8.6 or FRS. I'm guessing this guy tracks the car. He's got a little wide body kidney. He's got like track stance going, so. Really nice build. So then we got my buddy, uh, Jake Civic. I've shot with him a couple times. And then his dad's SS, and then his buddy's SC. And then there's a Huracan Evo that just rolled up. Um, and then there's an Aventador that just pulled up. And that Lambo, the red Lamborghini that I said earlier, it's not a Diablo, it's a Countach, my bad on that part. Kind of shows you what cars I know, more like exotics wise and ones that I don't, so. Um, oh yeah, and then there's this clown shoe uh, that pulled up too, so this thing's really nice. It looks like this guy might actually track this thing too, because he's got like semi-slicks on it. Okay, let's check some more stuff out. Uh, there's these two Z06 and a ZR1 over here. Um, can't exactly remember their Instagrams off the top of my head, but I, I know for sure that I follow them on Instagram. And uh, I believe, oh yeah, one of them's name is James, the uh, left side Z06 right here. And then I uh, can't remember the ZR1, but these things, they always come here and it's always good to see their cars. And let me show you the front ends real quick too. Okay, then I gotta go. Uh, let's see, M3, M5, M3 right here. And then this crazy looking rat rod next to this uh, Camaro real quick. For sure you have a value, I mean, that's why you have that red key. Yeah. Uh, I Uh, there's these two CTSV coops. Um, I'd really like one of these one day since it's like Cadillac. I don't know. It's a, it's a CTSV. You can't go wrong with a CTSV. So um, this I can't remember. This left or this left or right one? I'm pretty sure it's the right one with the bigger uh, slicks on it. Sounded absolutely insane when I pulled up. So let me show you these.
have no idea what kind of model of McLaren that is, but that green really, really pops. And this Aventador looks insane. It sounded insane, kind of all pops and bangs when it pulled up too, so. Let me show you the back end real quick. And then right next to there's a Huracan Evo. I think that's the first Huracan Evo that I've seen. Really good looking cars. And then when you think one C8 Corvette wasn't enough, another one just pulled up, so. Um, I'll go over there and show that one too, because it's, uh, it's gonna park over here, so. I'll go over there and show this one real quick. It's black, so kind of like black car is better than the orange but the orange definitely pops and then as well there's a uh, pista over here as well so the pista right there pista looks cool now let me show you the kind of better side of this event it looks uh, were people in front of there earlier Alright, and then there's this uh, black C8 over here. Really nice. Oh, and then there's this other uh, ACR over here as well. There's also this, uh, I don't know what Porsche is, because I don't know Porsche at all, but uh, kind of like a retro paint style on it with the, uh, I know it's like an earlier model, that's for sure, but it's got, got like a kind of retro style paint job on it with the German flag going around it. I like cars like that a lot, especially kind of like early 90s cars for some reason they're just I feel like they're a lot cooler than nowadays cars but uh um let's see I think I might start taking some pictures and then if anything else shows up uh I'll grab the camera or well, I'll grab the other lens and kind of start showing then before I get too ahead of myself with the camera there's these uh two other cars I want to show real quick so um one's a SS, I believe his name was Trent. He's in the Las Vegas Holdens group chat. And then there's a cool sounding, I think it's his buddy CTSV right next to it as well. So. Are you racing tonight? Huh? Are you racing tonight? Uh, the car I feel like this. I think it's fine. Car? Really, really nice cars. Before I get too carried away with the pictures, there's a um, a few, I think they're 911 Porsches, like I said, I don't really know exotics, but um, there's like one with like a sick galaxy wrap kind of race livery on it, and then there was a, a pretty nice bagged Lexus that rolled up over here, so let me show you guys those real quick. And then before I get to the Porsches, there's another Viper that came over here, the nice green one. Yeah, so they would use the uh, 
Voodoo engine in the Shelby American cars today. Alright, let me go ahead and show you guys the Porsches real quick. So here's the Porsches. I'm gonna kinda go around the back side since there's so many people kinda in the front side trying to take pictures and kind of blocking it, but um, I believe this first one is a kind of low ballers 911. And then there's a nice know, turbo, and then uh, this Galaxy. Well, I guess it's a Luso car, so Galaxy wrapped uh, GT3 RS. Okay, uh, so I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to stay, since it's starting to get a little hot, but, um, I'll probably stay for maybe another 20 minutes and then kind of dip, so, let's see what shows up. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you guys kind of enjoyed looking at the cars, um, I know I did and it was a pretty good showing this morning, so, uh, if you guys are new, please hit subscribe and hit the little bell notification bell. Um, if you like the video, please drop a like and comment what you thought about the cars. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Peace.